Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about the effect of increasing the length of the sides of a box on its capacity or volume. So the question is, if you double the length of the sides of a rectangular prism, which is a box, how many times greater than the volume of the old box is the new box's volume going to be? So to give you a visual here, this is my original box size. So if I double the dimensions in each direction, length, width, and height, it's like having twice as many boxes in that direction. So for example, if I double the length, then it's like putting another box on the other side, right? But that's just one dimension. So what if I also double the width? Now the length and the width have been doubled. So we end up with four times as much capacity. And I still haven't even doubled the height. Now when I double the height, the whole thing doubles. So that's like adding four more boxes on the top. So in fact, when we double each dimension, length and width and height, we actually end up with eight times the capacity. It kind of makes sense too, if you think about the volume formula, because in our volume formula, let's suppose that we had a box that had a length, a width, and a height of just one. So the volume would be one times one times one, we would just have a volume of one cubic unit. If we double each side, then what happens? We're gonna have two times two times two, which is eight or eight times as big. It's going to have eight times the capacity. Let's look at a specific example. Here's a box that has a length of seven inches, a width of two inches, and a height of three inches. So the volume of this box going by length times width times height is going to be seven times two times three, which is gonna be 42 cubic inches. Now let's imagine doubling the length of every single edge, every dimension. What if we had a box that was 14 inches by four inches by six inches? So the volume of this new larger box is going to be 14 times four times six, which turns out to be 336 cubic inches. Let's see how many times larger than 42 that is by dividing. 336 divided by 42 gives us eight. So it's eight times the volume. And a similar thing's gonna happen if you tripled each of the dimensions. How many times the capacity do you think you would get? So remember, go back to the situation where we have uh, dimensions all are ones, we got one cubic unit. If we triple each one of those dimensions, we get three times three times three is 27 times the capacity. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. 